What's going on guys, it's Rico Snow here bringing you some new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. Now I want to apologize for uh, not being able to upload recently, I've been very busy with everything going on in my life right now, but I'm back to YouTube and I will sh be able to upload a lot more videos lately. But I want to get into talking about the three new weapons that were recently released. The first weapon I wanted to discuss with you guys is the SCG-44, since it apparently is going to be the most popular out of this DLC bunch. Um, based on the gameplay, the base weapon looks to be a very strong weapon to start off with. It looks, from all the gameplay I've seen, it looks to be about a 3 to 4 shot kill weapon. Um, from what I also have heard, it's also considered to be the best assault rifle in the game now. It means it's better than the bow. I personally do not, like I have not used it, but based on gameplay, this gun does look to be very, uh, very accurate, very powerful, and the best assault rifle in the game. As with the other assault rifles, it is a 30 round clip, minus the bow because it has 32, but this gun is a 30 round clip and the reload takes a very short time. From all the gameplay, I did a little bit of analysis on it, it takes about less than a second, a little bit less than a second to reload the gun. It is absolutely an insane fast reload speed and that was un, like sped up, not the speed reload. The gun does have a moderate fire rate, about, I want to say it's similar, uh, somewhat close to the bow's fire rate. It doesn't, as far as I know, it doesn't increase with speed like over time, like the longer you hold the trigger, like the bow does. But with the re this gun does have an upward, a lot of upward recoil. Like the gun kicks up if every bullet and then it comes back down. It doesn't affect the gun, at, like the motion of the game at all. Your accuracy doesn't affect it at all. It's just one of the recoils that does block your iron sight for every time it kicks up, but it doesn't make a huge difference because you know where you're aiming anyways. The only time I can see that being a problem is when you like are aiming at a little tiny, like a part of the leg sticking out of a, uh, out of, behind a wall or something. That's the only time I can see it being a problem. But yeah, I am definitely looking forward to using this weapon. I f like, I feel it's go it's going to stay the best weapon for a while. I, if you guys mentioned, or if you guys watched my last video, I mentioned that it, like it looked like it was going to be one of those guns that people used all the time at first and then it just faded away. I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. This gun looks to be very popular and looks to be very, very good. So I'm looking forward to using this weapon for you guys, getting some gameplay, but until that happens, I kind of just have to describe the weapon for you guys. But the, uh, onto the nest weapon, the SVO. Based on the gameplay I've watched, the base weapon looks to be very strong as well. I think the gun actually has like 15 damage but this gun was one shot kill a large majority of the time. I watched two gameplays on this, like they were both long and I saw them maybe get two hit markers the entire time. Like this gun is ridiculously strong. Um, the gun is actually very similar to the Atlas 20mm. It's semi-automatic, uh, has high damage, high kill rate, but the only difference is this gun has a lot immense recoil, which means you can't rapid fire the shots like you can with the Atlas at times. But it also this gun also has the ability to hit fire, unlike the Atlas. The accuracy, of course, is going to be a little bit worse with a hit firing because the larger spread. But it is like that still gives you a huge advantage over people that are using the Atlas because they have to aim on the side. You can just hit fire them up close. The scope on the gun, I believe it's a good scope. Like. You can, like, how to, I don't know exactly how to put it, but you can just basically tell when you're using a sniper rifle if you like the scope and the way it zooms in and everything. For me, when seeing this gun, I think it's going to be a very good weapon. The, I think it's going to be used over the Atlas. I don't want to say the Moors because everybody loves the bolt action sniper rifles, but if I had a choice now, I'll, now based on gameplay, I would choose a, a Dragon off of the SVO. The gun, as well as with the SCG, the gun reloads quickly. It takes about a second, if not a little bit more, to reload. But the, the big plus of this weapon compared to other sniper rifles is it's a 10 round clip. To me, that is a huge plus because, as you guys know, the other sniper rifles, the Morris has one, I think the Lynx has eight, but that's a two shot kill. And uh, what's it called? The Atlas has four. If you have a sniper variant, it's five, but most of the time it's four. To have a one shot kill sniper rifle that's a 10 round clip, that's a huge plus. I can guarantee a lot of people are going to be using this weapon. But moving on to the blunderbuss, the last weapon in this uh, DLC. Based on gameplay, the base weapon looks to be very strong. Now if you guys watched my last video, I mentioned that the gun like, it seemed to be getting a lot of hit markers, like I didn't think it was going to be that good. 
but based on gameplay, this gun was nearly always a one-shot kill. The advantage of this gun as well is it can be hip-fired for just the same damage. Because honestly, the iron types are terrible, so I guarantee a lot more people are going to be hip-firing this gun. It's basically a musket, and musket iron sights weren't very good. But the very downside to this weapon, it has a very low reload speed. It takes around 5 seconds of end game to actually reload this gun. And it's a one shot in chamber, so... So once you fire that bullet, you're, you're out of the fire for 5 seconds and you're, then you can get back in it, but you only got one shot. It's gonna be hard to pick up double kills, it's gonna be hard to pick up like, any type of feed. And as I mentioned before, if it does get a hit marker, you kinda screwed. Unless you can somehow dodge the bullets for long enough. But yeah, those are the weapons in Advanced Warfare. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you guys want to check out more of my videos, you can browse my channel by clicking the Recall Snow on the button or on the screen right now, or the subscribe button, or you can click the link down in the description. All three of those will take you directly to my channel. If you guys want to check out two specific videos, I have two videos on screen right now that you can click the picture, and it'll open up a new t uh, ah, open up a new window for you guys to browse whatever video you click. But that's all the info I have. I will be sure to upload a gameplay for you guys once I receive these weapons out of supply drops. But I'm Recall Snow, and I hope to see you guys on my next video.